Hey everyone, and it's almost afternoon after the tech issues that Robin and I just had trying to go live. So I'm glad we're able to go live for you. Welcome, Robin. Thank you, Nancy. Good to be here today. Good to Happy see you. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. All right. So we love technology when it's working right, but I want to make sure we get to this, which is why I went live without it being on YouTube for now. Um, we'll put it up there later. So unlocking about page secrets, boosting your interior design website. I always find people's about page, sometimes they don't even have a picture. So I can't wait to see the tips. And I know we are sharing somebody's website today. Why don't you tell us who? We are. We're going to take a look at Esther Golightly Interiors about page. And um, first, I would just love to talk a little bit about the about page in general. Um, just so people know how important it is, because really potential clients do business with people. They want to know, like, and trust you before they're going to convert and fill out your contact form. Your about page is one of the most important pages to get someone to know, like, and trust you. So just a couple of tips is um, it's where you want to showcase the value that you bring to the table as an expert, right? Yeah. So you want to share your history, your experiences, your stories, your credentials, your skills, your capabilities, your knowledge, your awareness, and your problem solving and communication skills. You want to get all of that across. Also, you want to share, and this is really important, and I think something that's forgotten a lot of the time, the value that you create for your clients. Yes. Right? Yes. So you want to share the solutions that you create for them, the problems you solve, the headaches you take away, the time you save, the costs you cut, whatever it might be that you bring of value. And you want to share what makes you uniquely equipped to do this right? <laughs> I think what you're saying brings to mind, you want to give people the feeling of what it's going to be like to work with you. Yes, exactly. Because we are all unique. Yes. We all operate our businesses differently. That's your unique selling proposition, your unique value proposition, your special sauce. You really want to get that across on your about page, because that is why someone is going to hire you over all the other interior designers in your neighborhood who offer the same service. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. And we're going to look at somebody's about page today, correct? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So let me, are you going to pull that up or should I pull that up? I am going to pull okay. it up into the screen Excellent. and then I'll make me disappear and you disappear, but you'll be able to hear our voices as we go over Esther's um, Paige, so you take over. I'm going to just switch it to see if we can see a little bit more of it. Yeah. Okay. And now ready. I'm just going to scroll. Can you see it moving? I can. Okay, perfect. I just wanted to make sure that all worked. So um, thank you to Esther for volunteering to let us do a little mini audit of her about page today. And um, I just wanted to start with the header section of her about page. So that is where her logo and her main navigation menu are. And I love that it's very simple and clear to understand. Yes. She's done a great job with that. Um, one thing I would ask her to consider when you center align your business name or your logo, it can be really nice to balance that out by putting part of the menu on the left side and the other part on the right side because now when my eye goes to the right i'm not seeing anything there yes yes I see. alternatively you can put your logo or business name on the left and your menu on the right so it balances out but that would just be one little tip that i would suggest to kind of even that area out a little bit okay excellent and then as we move down one thing that I'm loving that she's doing, which is what Nancy spoke about, is that we've got a photo of Esther. A lot of about pages don't have a photo and she's looking right out at us and she's smiling. So she I, was, I was gonna comment on that because everyone knows I'm a body language trainer as well. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful headshot. Yes. It really. it really is. She's smiling. I feel like it's warm and inviting. 
Yes, it is. I would, if Esther, you go and redo your headshots eventually, try to do a, a little bit of a full body shot where your hands are showing as well, because hands are a trust indicator. So for anyone who's watching, when you do pictures for your website, you know, the lifestyle shots that have become so popular in the last year or two, actually more, two or three, that's sort of what everyone should start going towards on their website. So I would just add that, although this is an incredibly inviting and warm picture. It is. It is. And I agree with what you said about those lifestyle photos. Um, I really think that it would enhance this page to add some of those in as yes. well. Yes. Um, but it's a great headshot. And I love that there is a photo of her. So um, that's fantastic. And the photo of you, it really helps with that no like and trust factor, especially because interior design for the most part is an in-person service. So you want to look on your website the way you're going to look when you show up at your client's home for the first time for that initial consultation. Yes. Yeah. So there isn't a disconnect or anything like that. Right. Um, the other thing about this section, she's made wonderful use of font hierarchy here. So we can see that about is larger than the next two headlines, services oh, yeah. provided, areas served, and those are bigger than the paragraph text. So that just makes it very easy to scan or skim. Mm -hmm. And I also like that the headlines are even in a slightly different color, even though it is a little light. Um, I do like the fact that it stands out a little bit more from the body text. So well done there. Yeah, I like it. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to scroll down a little so we can see everything on the page. Um, one thing I'll mention is if Esther is at all interested in having Google index this page to show up in organic search results, she's going to want to add a lot more content, more words, because there's not enough words right now for Google to actually index the page. Is there a minimum, want... Robin? I'm going to say, generally speaking, and this does differ depending on who you are, but generally they're going to want to see about a minimum of 300 words at a minimum. Okay. Um, obviously, you know, if you're Nate Berkus or something, you're going to get indexed if you just have pictures. Right. Um, but, you know, that's we're not all that. So um, the words really, really help with getting indexed by Google. Yes. Um, and the other thing I'll mention is I don't feel like I come away from this page knowing Esther or her business. And I would ask Esther to consider sharing a little bit more about herself her story, her process, how she helps her clients on this page. You know, I'm thinking the same thing. Like, it's such great advice. Like, tell me a story. Like, yes. you know, when I walked out of my client's home, you know, and she said, da, 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 I felt great because, you know, back when I was in interior design school, like, tell a story, okay. um, I think would come across so nicely here. Yes. Yes, because you really want people to feel like they know you, um, mm -hmm. you know, share information about the history of her business. Why did she start it? Um, stories about herself that relate to why she does what she does, how she helps her clients, how they make her life better. Um, the other thing that I would suggest is interior designers are creatives. So be creative on your about page. Um, share about yourself in a fun and creative way. Have a fun fact section. Um, do like a this or that. Do a little question and answer. Um, one thing I have been dying to do on a client's website, and I just haven't found the right fit yet, is to actually make like a mood board that shares information about you. Yes. So there's lots of creative ways to get some personal information um, across to your clients so they feel they get to know you on a personal level too. Love it. Yeah. Love it. yeah. Um, if we look at the services provided section, one suggestion that I have, and I'm just going to scroll up so we can look at the main menu, I would actually suggest adding a services page to the menu and putting the services on the services page, not on the about page. They're really two very separate pages that have very separate purposes. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, areas served. I love that she has this section, but I would prefer to see this at the bottom of the page in the footer. And I would like to see it on every single page of the website. Right. And that's the way Google's going to index it better also by having it within the headers and the footers as opposed, she can put it here, but mm -hmm. again, in a different way, possibly as a story, not as 
just the only place it's safe. absolutely absolutely um and then recognition this is fantastic esther has been recognized in a lot of different ways and that is fantastic to highlight that i would also say whenever possible use a logo because again people are visual and a picture is worth a thousand words so if you can use the HGTV logo yeah. rather than writing HGTV shows, people are going to recognize that and identify with it much faster than they are reading something. So I would say whenever possible, I would use logos. And if there's something to link off to, I highly suggest making um, the image a clickable link because those off-page links to relevant pages are really good for SEO as well. Yes, I agree. And I like if Esther goes to mine, she'll see we have a banner that has all the logos of where I've been published or seen. And that is an impactful uh, visual for when a person first comes to your website an award-winning designer might catch somebody's eye more than reading down to the list. Absolutely. Absolutely. But this is wonderful information that she has. Yeah, and um, really good. Yeah. Yeah. It's fantastic. And I would say, you know, in terms of beefing up the content in how we discussed, I would love to see more images like Nancy talked about those lifestyle photos, um, even maybe a photo or two of your work. Um, I'd love to see some use of background colors just to sort of differentiate between the different sections. Mm -hmm. I would also love to see a testimonial or two added to this page, mm -hmm. um, an excerpt from a testimonial that speaks directly to how amazing Esther is to work with. Um, that carries a lot of weight and I would definitely recommend adding one or two of those on. Yes. And I'd also love to see a call to action at the bottom of the page. What is it, Esther, that you would like um, a potential client to do? Um, I'm going to guess it's to contact you, to fill out your contact form, to call you, to email you, book that initial discovery call. But let's create a little section and a button that they can click that takes them right there to make it super easy for them. Yes. Yes, I agree. I mean, I've met Esther and Esther, I hope you're watching live. You're such a lovely person. I want more personality on this page and everything Robin's laying out is really uh, highlighting what the personality is, right? Some of your favorite things, more pictures, the story. Um, mm -hmm. Really excited for Esther to change this at some point. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But it's a fantastic start. Yes. Um, and then um, just to look at the footer, I love that she's got phone number and email address and the city where she's located. I would love to see, again, the service area in the footer. Um, I would also suggest having legal pay her legal policies here. So for mm. sure, a privacy policy. Um, um, and then either oh a gosh. little menu at the bottom or a little to the top button so mm -hmm. people can get up to the main menu really easily. And um, if Esther is on social media, the footer is a great area to link over to your social media accounts as well. Amazing. All right, let me bring you. Is that the the end of the review of her page? That's the end of the review of her page. Let me bring you back up and bring me back up and make sure behind that. Let's go back to this. All right, we are back. So amazing. I actually think there's so much good information on her about page. It's just really fine tuning it and presenting it in, I don't know, a, a more current modern way, I guess you would say. Yeah, in a very personal way. So we really feel uh, like we come away knowing more about Esther. Yes. And then the other thing that I'll just mention in general about an about page, and I think this can even be said for your entire website, is you don't really want your website to be a business focused website, but more of like a client centric website. So um, you want... Yeah everything to be all about your ideal client, your ideal customer, your target audience, not all about you. It's about you framed in the way of how you and your business help them solve their problem. And um, something that is an exercise that I've been working on myself on my website is taking all of those sentences 
that say I or we and trying to rewrite them in a way that says you instead. And I have a little example here, if it's okay if I read it. Absolutely. This is one of my favorite subjects. Yeah, it's a really interesting one. But Wordsmithing, (laughs) right? But here's an example. So we carefully curate our designs to make sure they meet our high standards, right? Yeah. Versus your home deserves a carefully curated design that meets your high standards. Do you see the difference there? It's Mm -hmm. automatically taking the attention off of you and you're making it all about your target audience. So they feel that you're speaking directly to them. You get them. Mm -hmm. So your about page tends to be a lot of I and we. So it's a really good place to start trying to shift that focus a little bit. And not every sentence, but... Just take a look. It's really an interesting exercise. It is. And it's funny. I think that, you know, why do I do a lot of the same topics over and over again? Because people need to hear them over and over again. And even hearing you now, I'm like, hmm, have we lost sight of that? Let me go check my website. Because what Mm -hmm. happens is as you run your business, you're busy and you rush and you go, okay, let me just let them know what I, uh, I went to this school and this is my credentials, right? It's like an old fashioned resume, but in the modern day and age that making them visualize what your business, the result of your service is going to do for them is the trick to Mm -hmm. all your marketing, starting with your website. Yes. Not an easy thing to do, but doable. It's doable. You're selling the transformation. You're selling the results. You're not selling the list of what's included in the service. They don't care. They They just want to know they're going to get that end result that they're looking for. So true. All right. Thank you so much, Robin. Tell everyone how to find you if they need help with their website. Sure. So my website is rdwdesignstudio.com and you can reach out to me and find out all about me there. I'm also very active on Instagram and that's rdwdesignstudio and I post lots of tips and I follow back all interior designers. Perfect. All right, everyone go follow Robin. And if you have any questions about your website or how to get it to the next level, which is really important in this market right now. Very yes. important not to be sitting on a website that's not working for you. Mm-hmm. Um, so contact Robin if you have a need. So thank you so much, Robin. And I will see you next time. Thanks, Nancy. Bye. Bye.